award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Methyl, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports. Make sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and Go Eagles! Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. 
Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. And it's... Good evening or good late afternoon. We've got sunshine thanks to daylight saving time. And we've got baseball at Jackson Christian on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. And we are welcoming you to the Ball Game Blitz TV Sports Network produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. This is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2024 any rebroadcast retransmission editing or further use of this ball game blitz broadcast without the express written consent of worthy road studios is strictly prohibited i'm coach joe holloway i'll be your announcer tonight other teams covered most of them high school but we've got college teams we cover are jackson christian of course usj tca peabody football sacred heart basketball we also do Union University's home games and our model for the Gulf South Conference broadcast at other schools. These broadcasts include volleyball, soccer, basketball, softball, and baseball. Worthy Road Studios also produces Rockabilly Baseball and Bethel Football. All of our games, and I do mean all of them, are archived to Worthy Road Studios' YouTube channel. The executive producer of the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios is the one and only Paul Schultze. And, of course, our advertisers are the people that make these broadcasts possible. You don't have to pay like they do in the uh, National Federation games. You have to pay for them. These games, these great sponsors, like our gold advertisers, Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, the Blacksmith Restaurant, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Humboldt Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Elite Dental, Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air, and Deaton's Carpet help make this broadcast possible. And uh, also, our silver broadcasters for Jackson Christian are Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Realty, Great American Sports, Ben Vargason, and Southern Capital Advisors along with David White Body Shop. And we appreciate all those people. Please tell them you do. Patronize these people and support them because without them, there would be no broadcast, and you would be at the mercy of the National Federation. And, of course, we've got a lot of good baseball. It's Jackson Northside from the north side of town, obviously. The Indians are coming in with a 3-4 and four record. The Eagles of Jackson Christian come in with a nice, they took the uh, week off from school and turned it into four wins, had one tough loss, but... The kids hustled, played hard. They have improved. Next week we'll start district play for most of the Division Two, which are private schools. Uh, Division One, some uh, districts will start some play next week. Others will wait a little bit later. And, uh, of course, we are looking at some of our stats here, of which the season so far for Jackson Christian they beat Houston seven to four, beat Corinth eleven to one, Hamilton twelve to six. They did lose to Valley View, and then beat uh, Paragool, Arkansas ten three. The game tonight is first pitch is supposed to be thrown at six o'clock. Uh, they've just gotten through lining the field off, raking it down, and. Uh, in our picture, you can see our young men out in left field from Jackson Christian and the north side squad in right field. They're kind of in the shadows right now. And, uh, of course, the next game for the Indians is with Collierville, and that's there. That's, that's going to be a very tough one. And then they turn around that night. They play at 430 and then turn around. And if this schedule is right, uh, play maybe they're playing evangelical Christian. That they've got both of those listed now. Next Monday we'll be back here for an important district game against Tipton Rosemark that will start. First pitch is scheduled for 6:30, and we'll probably take the air about 6:10 or 6:15. The Jackson Christian Facebook site will let you know about that. 
And in the case of the Northside Indians, who come into this game three and four, they have beaten the Haywood Tomcats 11-1, to the Madison Mustangs, in a very close game, 6-5. to Loss to USJ, beat the Stewart County Rebels, and uh, lost to a very fine Huntington team, and also lost to Peabody and Gibson County. And they come in 3-4. and four. And, of course, they were supposed to have had a game yesterday, but like us, their game with Sacred Heart is no longer on the schedule because Sacred Heart does not have a baseball team this year. And uh, they still have their basketball program. While we're getting ready and uh, we want you to hear from some of these fine sponsors, please watch, pay attention, make a list of them, and go by and thank them. We're going to turn it back to our I call him my executive in here producer, Chris. Paul's the overall executive producer, but Chris is going to be with us all year. So, Chris, I'm going to let you run the timeout, and I won't put a time on this one. And we will be back with Jackson Christian Eagle Baseball after this timeout. This is not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this and numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. We realize you have a busy lifestyle and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor wants on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. This is not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this and numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports. Make sports an addiction. 
had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. You trade in your car. You trade in your house. So why not get some equity back from your old HVAC system? McCoy's Heating and Air will now give you up to $2,000 trade-in for your old unit, plus a free 10-year parts and labor warranty with the purchase of a qualifying York system. That's right. Trade in your old unit and get up to $2,000, plus a free 10-year parts and labor warranty. For a limited time, only from McCoy's Heating and Air. And as you can see, the great camera shots we've got, you see the lineups being exchanged. Paul Schulze has handed me a nice new set of papers. Paul takes care of things. He's our executive producer, and I'm kind of waiting for my game changer to go live, as uh, I do use game changer when the Internet will permit me to use game changer. They go over the ground rules. They go over all the nice pleasantries and talk about the uh, – Rules of the TWSAA, and uh, those are necessary things that have to be done. And let's see if I can make something happen over here with trying to pull a little magic with Game Changer. Four and one Eagles going against the three and four Indians. And this is a non district matchup, it's Division One and Two. Now, it looks like we're going to have the national anthem. We may take a break because we are making some camera adjustments and things like that. So, Chris, we'll turn the time out over to you, and we'll come back after this break. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
no matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor work on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. This is not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this and numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. And you just heard the finish of the Star Spangled Banner, the greatest song on earth. There's a lot of music out there. We are just ready to play baseball. Had a great prayer during the break and the playing the national anthem. It's 56 degrees. Sunny conditions exist here at game time. There will be wind gusts at times up to 21 miles per hour. And uh, the low tonight will drop to somewhere around 40 degrees. And the air quality is good. The air quality index is 48. And uh, the sun will set today at 7.06 p.m. And on the mound, the senior, Carter Ellis, the, wears number two. He, they have a new catcher because we're used to having our catcher, the former linebacker from last year. Uh, well, and he did a great job for all of this time. And the lead off for the Northside Indians hitting 118 is uh, Javante Smith. He is supposed to be, according to information I was given, supposed to be their wheel horse or the bell cow, whatever you – in other words, he's supposed to be their best pitcher. And so we are getting the, the best here from their team. And um, – like I said, we will try to give you some batting averages. These are from Game Changer. When it works all year, we'll, like I have I said, have some good information. Give Chase McLean and his fine staff a lot of credit. And, of course, they have added uh, Carter Holt to it. And stepping to the plate is number one, Javante Smith, the pitcher. He's got good speed. And he is a better hitter than this is early in the season. Batting, batting averages go up and down. They're kind of like a, kind of like a yo-yo. And uh, so we will see what happens. Ellis Wines fires those of the breaking ball, and it is strike one. Normally, I don't know that I'm going to be able to give you pitch count tonight. We'll see if we can. Second one, another breaking ball, and that's one of Carter's strong points is the breaking ball. And he will throw it any chance that he gets. And I don't blame if I had one like that. And this one, a strikeout swinging, and that would be the forward K that you put down for the first out on three pitches. Now 
Burgess to hit, wears number 18, is hitting 125, I believe, or actually, yes, 125. Right-handed hitter, outfield straight away. Always check your positioning. There's a great shot of the home plate area. The pitch, breaking ball, hit on the ground. Reed Cooper takes it on the hop over to first to Daniel Green, and there's two outs in the inning. Score that one four to three if you're keeping a scorebook at home. There are two outs, and Z Coleman, who is also known as Zadarius Coleman, will be coming up to the plate. Breaking ball for a strike. And I tell you what, hasn't been a ball thrown yet as far as this one's fouled off, so it's an 0-2 count. And like I said, we may not have the pitch count tonight. We apologize if we don't. Unofficially, I've got six pitches. And there we go. The first breaking ball that wasn't thrown in the strike zone. Catcher blocks it. And again, Smith catching. Coleman at bat. Coleman hitting 152. He's got speed also. Has some power. Wanted to go. And they, uh, they check the umpire. And the umpire says, no, he didn't. So there is the second ball that Carter. But a great start. If we had runners on first and second, we would say the deuces are wild now. Two balls, two strikes, two out. The pitch hit on the ground to Austin Kelly. Big hop, crow hop, step, throws to Green as three up and three downs. No run, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. The score at the end of a half inning of play is Northside zero and Jackson Christian coming to bat. Let's take a one-minute timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your team sports. You can email or call us for all your team sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Mid first inning, no score by the Indians as they went three up and three down. Their young man, uh, Javante Smith, warming up on the mound right now. He wears number one. We'll cover their infield. First three hitters for Jackson Christian, Easton Jones, the junior, J.T. Mullins, the right fielder, Zach Creasy, the third baseman, if needed in this inning, Austin Kelly hitting in the cleanup spot. And uh, he's still got a couple of warm-up pitches while we try to get some of the fielders into the book. We see that Hill is going to play shortstop for the Indians. Garrett's in right field. Markham, I believe, is in center. So we're checking our numbers. Appreciate the coaches of both teams helping us out with that. Peterson's at first base for the Indians. Coleman is catching tonight. And if I remember the last time I saw him catch, he's a pretty good receiver. Burgess is at second base. Easton Jones will lead it off. Jones hitting 462 on this young season. Smith's got his sign, shakes his head, toes the pitching rubber, and comes to the plate. Some people call it the pitching plate. 
we'll probably use some old terminology that some of you hadn't heard from since the 60s or 70s and 80s. Second pitch, had a lot of smoke on it, but it is ball two. Two ball, no strike count in the bottom of the first. Outfield looks straight away. Left fielder may be towards center field just a little bit. Here's the pitch, and that one is looks like a strike. Like the guy that called the JV game, now he gives you that old hard strike count. This one is using the new modern mechanics, and that one above the hitter's head, and Easton feels it, gives it to the umpire to look over. They already got a new baseball to the catcher. J.T. Mullins, the right fielder on deck. J.T., a left-handed hitter, who wears number seven. 3-1 pitch on the way. Low and outside, and Jackson Christian has a base runner in the form of Easton Jones. He gets the walk, and that brings to the plate a young man that can handle the bat. J.T. Mullins up there. And I don't have Easton stolen bases in front. I wish I did. He's... He's a good base runner. Hasn't gotten out all the way to the edge of the cutoff yet. Pitching out of the stretch is Smith. He comes to the plate, and that one is the best place to throw a left-handed hitter, and that is to throw him on that inside and low. Ted Williams put out a baseball treatise that showed uh, where what you hit where each pitch was thrown, and even a great hitter like him only hit about 218, and he was a left-handed hitter. So JT at the plate, plays right field. Third baseman in at the edge of the grass, now gets up on the grass because JT has been known to drop a butt here and there. And that is strike two. The scoreboard uh, was incorrect. Now they've got two strikes up there. So an 0-2 count, or they say one ball and two strikes. Not a big lead this time by Easton, but he is quicker than a hiccup sometimes. Let's see what's up. One, two, and the hitter steps out, and I don't blame him. It was taking way too long. Here's Smith at the belt. Checks the runner. Comes to the plate. It's fouled off out of play towards the girls' softball game. And the last time I checked on that softball game, it was there was no score in the third inning, and uh, Bailey Robinson, who's pitching today, has done a very good job against a good Dyer County squad the last time I checked it. We're ready for the one-two pitch again. Tone's not moving. It's low, so that evens the count at two balls, two strikes. Right fielder readjusting himself, and they're a little deeper this time. little shorter lead by Easton. Smith looks, comes to the plate, but Easton running, it's high. And the throw is late, and Easton Jones has a stolen base. Three balls, two strikes, a runner in scoring position. Outfield basically straight away, slight shade by the center fielder because sometimes you don't get a good look at the hitter. And of course, they play the games trying to hold the runner close at second so he doesn't get the big jump. 3-2 pitch. It's ball four, and now there are men at first and second after two walks. And that brings up a very dangerous hitter. The one and only Zach Creasy, who is hitting 500 right on the nose. Zach's had a good year so far this year, just a junior. Nice pitch for a strike. No ball, one strike. And when a pitcher has walked two hitters, good strategy to uh, sometimes take that first pitch. Sometimes that's the strategy for a ball game. But this is supposed to be Northside's ace on the mound, Javante Smith. 
And he's got a good, lively fastball. You see him check the runner, come to the plate. And that one is a ball, one and one the count. Good shot there. Now we get the center field camera shot, and you'll get multiple shots here with Worthy Road Studios. See the second baseman dance in there a little bit, but they've got a pickoff play on and barely getting back with Easton Jones then. But he got back, and that's what's important for the Eagles. At the plate, number 24, Zach Creasy. He's made 18 plate appearances this year. That one had the stuff on it, but it was high and inside for ball two. Say this, that Javante Smith has a very good arm. There's that great shot from center field again. Worthy Road Studios, as far as high school ball, is probably one of the few in this state that has that great shot. Swinging strike two. Now, other than outs, we have two balls, two strikes, two runners on. No outs, though, so you can't really say the deuces are wild. And um, at minor league ballpark stuff, they usually have, especially when we had a minor league team, they'd ring the little bell when it was up in the press box when it was two balls, two strikes. But with no outs, runners at first and second, Smith comes to the plate, throws a breaking ball. And I don't know if he's got a slider, but that one, it did break, and it uh, uh, moved away from him. Didn't have the big hook like a big t big curveball does. Like I said, it broke rather quickly. 3-2 pitch. Second baseman trying to hold the runner on it. Second. Smith focus. Foul tip. Gets past the catcher. And we'll do it all over again. Good shot of the Jackson Christian dugout. The on-deck batter, which is Austin Kelly, who... Also doubles as the quarterback in football. We saw him throw a few touchdown passes last year. Easton Jones with the lead. Mullins at first. And that one is outside, gets away. I don't think the runners will try to advance. And we've got a bases loaded situation on three walks. Jones at third. Mullins at second. And now Zach Creasy. For Austin Kelly, the junior shortstop, who is a very good pitcher. See head coach Chase McLean come up to talk to the uh, umpire, and I don't know whether this is a ground rule discussion. The two umpires will confer, and whether you win the discussion or not, and I don't know that it's necessarily a competition, They uh, it's good umpiring when they discuss it like that. And the TWSAA needs some young umpires, and we can even use some old ones. But like me, I'd love to be able to do it. Did it once upon a time, but I am past prime time. With Ducks on the pond, no place to put him. Smith's got to – he's going to use the full wine and go to Austin Kelly. And the fastball was fast and the bat was fast, but it's strike one. Straight away, center fielder backing up a couple of steps. Left fielder a step deeper. This one high and great snag, almost like a first baseman's mitt by Coleman, the catcher. I'm sure if it's a fly ball to the outfield, they'll be tagging the runner because Easton Jones can run. You saw him steal a base. Infield in at first, halfway at third. That one's going to be outside. Two balls, one strike. You hear him from the dugout remind him it's 2-1. Kelly, the cleanup man. Smith's pitch is outside. And you saw the umpire kind of push away or point in that direction. It's three balls, one strike. This is a hitter's pitch here. Smith's going to challenge him. It's up in the air. It's going to be out of play as it tails off and goes over the fence to the right, did not take out any cars. That's a good thing. Of course, don't forget about David White Body Shop. Again, the outfield is Doan in left, Markham in center, Garrett in right. 
Here's Devontae Smith's pitch. It's high, and a run has been walked in. That'll be an RBI for Kelly. He'll go to first, and you'll see the coach for Northside come out. Uh, this young man that's on the mound is talented. Uh, it's just not getting into the strike zone. Pretty good movement on his pitches. And Jackson Christian will talk. They bring the infield in to discuss it. Of course, here at Jackson Christian, we got softball and baseball both going on at the same time. And Jackson Christian is a two-time state champion. Won it in 2008, 2014. I believe that Coach Chase McLean was a player on the 2008 team and a, an assistant coach on the 2014 team. They've been state runner-up in 97, 2007, and you see that pitch. Now, that one had some mustard on it and was in a tough place to hit. It's a no-ball, one-strike count to the hitter, Eli Terry, the junior, hitting 250. And they throw it down. And that one gets passed. I don't think the third baseman was expecting coverage. I understand what they were doing. And a second run scores. And that will, bases will no longer be empty. But there will be runners at second and third. And you have to, we'll have to call that one an E6. Not an E6, E2. Third baseman did not cover. And the shortstop was expected. Don't know whether he'd been signaled to cover it or He's supposed to go check the base every time. So one and one. It's high, so two one. Mullins just scored. Creasy's at third. Kelly's at second. Eli Terry, the junior right-handed hitter up there. There's a strike, so the count's even at two balls and two strikes. There are no outs in the inning. Reed Cooper. The fine glove man at second base and also can put down some dandy bunts and hit. Swinging, strike three. So the first out of the inning has been recorded. And that would be a frontwards K when they strike out swinging if you keep stats. One out in the inning. It brings up Reed Cooper. Reed hitting 182, but this may be uh, going to add to that average. It's cut off before it gets in the gap, dropped. One run across the plate, two runs streaking towards the plate, and it is four to nothing as Reed Cooper comes through with a big one and gets two RBIs and a single. And he'll be on first, and that will bring a junior up, A.J. Hastings, who is the designated hitter. He wears number 12, hits right-handed. And they thought that Reed might be running, so they attempt to pick off to drive him back. Good job by Peterson to stop the baseball. And you see the pitch go outside for Ball one. Only one runner on, four runs are in. Jackson Christian with one hit. They've done that off of walks and one hit. Just missing. I know Smith would love to have that one, and so would his coaches. Todd Lumley coaching at first. Chase McLean at third in the dugout. I see uh, Coach Bullard, and I know Carter Holt is over there. And I believe the ump liked that one, so it's a 2-1 count. Two balls, one strike. A little bigger lead by Reed this time. At first, you got that center field shot, and that's a good one. You get to see the pitcher throw out of the stretch. Just missing. It's 3-1. Let's see if Coach McLean chooses to run here, or he may play it safe. It 
See the little foot action trying to keep loose over at first. And that pitch outside and a little high, and that will move the runners up a spot. Hastings walks. And that brings up the senior, the UTC signee, the tight end for the football team. That's where he'll go. Has home run power. He's hitting 250 right now. Wears number 16, and he's capable of hitting to all fields. Smith checks that runner at second. Comes to the plate, and it's a breaking ball, but it's inside. One ball, no strike, pitch, fix and come. First baseman up on the grass. And I believe, if I remember, I've seen Peterson play for. He's got a pretty good glove. I know he made a good play on a pickoff attempt. Smith throwing a lot of pitches. He's thrown 38 here in the first inning. You'd prefer to get out of there with no more than 16, 20 is about the max you really want to throw in a first inning. That one is a good pitch. Painted the corner on the outside. Green took it. So you now have a one strike on the hitter. You see the count up there. Oh, that's high. Now this is a hitter's count right here, 3-1. Let's see if they cut Daniel Green loose. Will they let him go for the downs? And even if he were to miss or foul it off, he's still got another pitch coming to him. It'll be interesting what's called. The sign is given. Smith comes to the plate. It is fouled off, and that will run it to 3-2 with one out. Smith with a new baseball, got his sign, just gives a quick glance to the runner at second, and Green struck out on that one, so there's two swinging strikeouts in the inning, and the number nine hitter, Eli Smith, the catcher. Eli comes up with a chance with two runners on to do something, either keep the inning alive or drive in a run or two. Eli back in the back of the box. Always check these young men out. Now, this shot, you can't tell he's in the back of the box, but when you get a chance, look it over, see where they hit from. And a good pitch by the pitcher then for strike. No balls, one strike. I know Reed Cooper would love to score from second base. That young man just loves playing baseball. Smith fires to the plate. It's high. Like I said, this young man's got a good, lively arm. When he's in his strike zone and stuff, he could be really tough to hit. The one-and-one one pitch just about ready. Smith to the plate. It took a little something off that one, low and away, and that is strike two. So in the hole is Eli Smith, the catcher. One ball, two strike count. There are two outs. Runners will be going with the crack of the bat. On deck, Easton Jones, who led this inning off with a walk and scored. Northside straight away, second baseman a little closer because he's the one that's playing games to hold the runner on. Here's the pitch. Gets away, and it should be 3-2 now. Now, we won't have a merry-go-round, but you do have a deuces wild situation now. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners on. Javante Smith, the pitcher, Coleman, the catcher. For Northside, here's the pitch. And it looked like it may have been foul tipped if it wasn't. The catcher did a good job either way of holding on. Three strikeouts in the inning. But Northside has scored four. And at the end of one inning play, lead four to nothing. Let's take a timeout. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, 
make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. You are watching Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz production of Jackson Christian Baseball. Glad to have Jackson Northside over here today. Uh, these teams have played off and on the last few years. I know that uh, Coach McLean kind of built this thing up from about four years ago. Four wins, that's an approximation. May have been more than that. The coaches at Northside, even though they're three and four right now, they have they have gotten their program headed in the right direction, improving each year. They do a good job. And that's going to bring to the plate number 22. And that is the left fielder, Doan. And the first pitch. I believe he called it a ball. This is left-handed hitter. Now he steps out. And again, I've got to re get myself used to the newer mechanics. They've been in force. There's a swinging strike. Doan hitting uh, 231. Andrew Doan. Tommy McLean doing a good job on the public address system. One ball, two strike counts, what they've got, and you can see with our great shot. And uh, the man that makes some of these great shots happening, Paul Schulze, just walked into the press box here, or our part of the press box. We got a great mobile studio. And a good shot. We've had some great shots, Paul. Our camera people are doing good. 2-2 Two -two pitch on the way. Oh, he got him. That one, that's where that left-hander has tough uh, spot. And that's the second strikeout for Carter Ellis. And that's a backwards K that time. And this actually brings up Number 11, Trevor Peterson, the fine first baseman. He's hitting 167, but as the season gets longer and older, you'll see that average go up for him. And you see, saw the umpire, rather animated, giving the signal. Here's the pitch by Ellis. And that looked like he painted that corner, and he did. One ball, one strike, one out. No runners on. Green deep at first. Infield at normal depth. That was the 58-foot pitch right there. It's Unfortunately, it's 60 feet, 6 inches to the plate. Bounced up. Catcher Smith did a good job with it. 2-1 pitch by Ellis. Uh, actually, I was off a pitch, so was score. But that was the 3-1 pitch, which the first base runner, And getting a walk is Trevor Peterson. He'll be down at first. And this one is number 21, Micah Martin. I believe he is in center field. Comes into this game. Markham is hitting 250. Hits one on the ground. Reed Cooper for one. Over to first. A twin killing double play to end the inning. It went four, six, three. 
And that is the end of the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. At the end of one and one-half innings of play, Jackson Christian leads four to nothing. Let's take a one-minute timeout. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, (laughs) no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Back for the bottom of the second inning. Northside at Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian holds a 4-0 lead. Scoreboard just went out, but don't get excited, fans. It will make a comeback. There's only been one hit in the game. We had that inning in with a 4-6-3 double play, and it was a nicely turned one. Two good ball clubs here. Smith takes his last warm-up pitch. Coleman sends it down to second base, and it'll go around the horn, and we'll be ready to play baseball. Back to the top of the order, Easton Jones, who walked his first time up, had a stolen base. He also scored. Comes up there hitting 462. Will not belabor the averages because they change a lot this early in the season. Easton really patrols that center field well. We enjoyed his play last year in the back of the box. This one a little bit uppercut and a little bit behind, and it is a high, noisy strike, as they call fouls like that. And he's what a great shot there. Fans, like I said, pay attention, and you can learn a lot. Slightly open stance by Easton. Smith's pitch. That one is high, evens the count at one and one. Ought to put ball shoots on here and make him do an inning or two of play by play. He's shaking his head. No, that's the reason he gets paid the big books. The 1 1 pitch by Smith. Just outside. And it was enough. The umpire didn't have to question it too much. Coleman having to adjust the straps on his shin guards. And I have caught before. And the straps, no matter how well you put them on, sometimes have to be adjusted. Held on to it a little bit too long. Overthrew that one, and it's outside for ball three. Jones will take another walk because he'd like to start another inning like last one. The big hit in that inning was by Reed Cooper, and I believe he got two RBIs on that one. It's outside, and Jones has walked for the second time. So officially, Jones is 0 for 0 tonight. And I thought between innings I saw a little throwing activity down the uh, right field line, but nobody warming up. J.T. Mullins, the left-handed hitting right fielder, comes up. He also walked in the first inning. Let's see if Easton's running again this inning. Don't think he'll run on the first pitch, but I'm not coaching the team. And Chase, Chase is much more in tune with the game than I am. He's done a good job building this program up. Has good assistance. Great middle school program, too. Out of the stretch with that runner on first. Smith comes to the plate. More of a stride step towards home. As you can see, JT takes the ball. He's towards the back of the batter's box, too. Maybe one step of shading. This one, if it stays fair, it's not because it looks like uh, uh, one of my golf shots. It's a slice for the left-hander. That's the first strike against him. Two balls, one strike, according to the scoreboard. 54 pitches by Smith. Maybe, maybe we'll be 
Jones gets his lead. And a man that can handle it squared, but it's a ball, three balls, one strike. You got to like J.T. Mullins, just a junior. A majority of this ball club playing today are juniors. Got Daniel Green, the senior, out there. Here's one. It's a slow roller. I don't think they can get two. They'll go to first with it, and they got him. We're going to score that one four to three. Jones advances on the fielder's choice. Second baseman, Burgess, over to first to Peterson. And there's one out in the inning with a runner on second, bringing up Zach Creasy, who also walked and scored in that first inning. Zach, a junior, he can play shortstop. He can pitch. Let's see what kind of lead Jones gets now. The second baseman shows him some attention. And that one is high. Right now, Smith, who has good stuff, doesn't look comfortable when he's pitching out of the stretch and releases some of them a little high. Has held a couple of them too long, but like I said, I like the young man's pitches. Oh, this one drilled to right field. Back, back, back. It hits the wall. Let's see if they send the man to the plate, and they are. They're going to try to make the throw into second. Second baseman cuts it off. And a double, and that is a good double for Zach Creasy. He'll get an RBI out of it. Jones scores from second base. And Creasy will be at second with the RBI double. And that brings up a man who got an RBI off of walking. Here comes the north side coach. And we'll talk. Let's see, there's going to be some changes. We'll have to work hard on them. While they change, I tell you what, let's do, Chris. Let's take at least a 30 second timeout and we'll see what the changes are going to be because it looks like they're wholesale. No matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. And we are back, and we'll have to check our roster Number five is going to assume the mound. We will pick up the uh, other players. It looks like Star is going to pitch for Jackson Northside. And we will see how they shuffle the players around because Smith's a good player, and I'm sure they're going to leave him in the game. Smith will go to shortstop. Now, he is responsible for the man on. We know he has given up four runs. He pitched one and one-third innings. And I believe this is Aiden Starr, a right-hander. Looks like a nice breaking ball there, warming up. Cap came off, a lot of good motion. We'll see how they shift the players around. I know Peterson's going to stay at first base. It looks like Smith is going to go to shortstop. Hill has gone to center field. Markham is in right field now. He was in center. And we'll check Doan out. Doan's still in left field. So should be Peterson at first, Burgess at second, Smith at short. Marshall is still at third. And Zach Creasy is the hitter. Austin Kelly up there to hit now. Austin's your cleanup hitter. He's got a runner at second and one out. He walked last time, got an RBI. And started a good job of driving the runner back. This is Aiden Starr. There are two stars on the team. 
This pitch gets away, and that'll be a pass ball. Not a – this will not be a stolen base. Aiden Starr, just a freshman. Looks like he could develop into a good pitcher for the Indians. That one outside for ball two. You saw the hitter do the right thing, give the don't come up the line too far, and there's no reason the ball did not get away. Again, the good center field camera shot. Austin Kelly, the hitter. Stars pitch, fouled away. A little breaking ball. Two balls, one strike, one out. Infields at normal depth. They're going to give up a run for an out. Two hits by Jackson Christian, one in each inning. Some walks, as the late Dizzy Dean used to say, an old pitcher who won 30 games for the Cardinals one time a long time ago. Oh, those bases on balls. They will hurt you. Here's the 2-1 pitch. It missed. And the umpire, but he gave it a fair look. Of course, pitchers love to get those calls. Uh, Greg Maddox was one of the best at painting the corner, working the corner, however you want to say it. Five runs, two hits. And 3-2 uh, the count now. And I'll put it this way. The wind was strong enough, or I had too weak of weight uh, to blow my notes off of the table. And uh, walk, and that'll put a dangerous situation. Runners at first and third. I know Kelly probably would have liked to have hit the baseball, but being a good team man like he is, he will take the walk. And we've got first and third with Eli Terry hitting 250, the junior right-handed hitter. Front foot is even with the front of the plate. And you can check that out with slightly closed stance. Drilled back, back, back. Left fielder catches it about five feet in front of the wall. The tagging runner at third is Zach Creasy. He will score. And a sacrifice fly for Eli Terry. Does not count as a time at bat. It is the second out of the inning. Bringing up Reed Cooper, the fine fielding second baseman who had a big single and two RBIs in that first inning. 6 nothing the score. Two hits for Northside. They have a runner at first now, Kelly. Pretty good base runner, but with him pitching as much as he does, they'll run him only when coach thinks it's a great idea. And that one, the bender there, the curveball, it was a strike. No balls, one strike. Outfield stays straight away. The nice throw by Coleman, the catcher, down to first. Kelly gets back there, though, scrambling back. It's a one ball, one strike count. One and one star looks at the runner. Let's see if he checks him a second time. He kind of catch him out, and he stepped back. Good move. It's not a balk. I'm sure there's somebody back at home watching or somebody in the stands because I thought I heard somebody say balk. It's, that is not a balk. That is a good move, good way to get people to uh, get back to the base. Here's the pitch. Bounces. Kelly will go standing up down there, and you had to tell the catcher where the ball was. We probably would have to call that one a wild pitch and advancement on that. So a two ball, one strike count. Aiden Starr, the pitcher now. Three and one. But you see the count change and another one of our good shots. Rob Maxwell, the head coach, and Andrew Simmons, the assistant. They do a good job over there, just like all of our coaches do a good job, too, at Jackson Christian. 
Drilled on a line drive, but a great play to retire the side at second base and a good play by the second baseman, Burgess. That'll be the third out of the inning, but Northside, or Jackson Christian, actually comes up with two big runs on one hit and had a base runner left. Score at the end of two innings of play. Jackson Christian Eagles, six. Northside Indians, nothing. We'll take a one-minute timeout. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. And we are back. Let's close the book out on Javante Smith. He uh, threw 59 pitches, 25 of them for strikes. Uh, let's see. He went 1.1 innings, two hits. He gave up six runs, six base on balls, and uh, struck out two. So that closes the book on him. Leading off for the Indians would be Isaac Garrett. But Garrett is out, and that is number five. That's what I didn't pick up. This is Star batting here. Aiden Star. So it's a one two count. Ellis Bender, swinging strike. So there's one out in the inning. And we'll check this out. And this should bring up Joseph Marshall. Marshall drills one down the right field line, but like... Some of my golf swings, it slices foul. This is Marshall's first at bat with one out. Now, you say, well, we had a walk a while ago. Well, it got erased in the double play, 4-6-3, if, how you score that one. Ground ball. Carter Ellis feels it himself. He'll go halfway, the underhand toss for the second out to Daniel Green. And there are two outs in the inning, and this brings up Jalen Hill. And we'll make sure it is Jalen. Wearing number 25. Jalen, a right-handed hitter. Slightly open stance, as you can see, that front foot just a little open. There's the breaking ball for a strike. We're in the top of the third. Another breaking ball for a strike. And Carter, when it's breaking, I'm going to tell you what, he's got one of the better breaking balls around here. He threw some last year, came in, pitched some tough late innings. The seniors pitch, hit to right field on the horse, going into foul territory. And there he is making the catch, J.T. Mullins, number seven. And that was a foul out, but it doesn't matter. It's still... The third out of the innings, no runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base, and at the end of two and a half innings of play, it's 6 nothing. Jackson Christian leads the Indians. Let's take a one-minute timeout. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. New Nissans are rolling in. Over
over 70 new Nissans to choose from, that means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing, so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units, something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at carlocknissanofjackson.com. You should already be here. You trade in your car. You trade in your house. So why not get some equity back from your old HVAC system? McCoy's Heating and Air will now give you up to $2,000 trade-in for your old unit, plus a free 10-year parts and labor warranty with the purchase of a qualifying York system. That's right. Trade in your old unit and get up to $2,000, plus a free 10-year parts and labor warranty. For a limited time, only from McCoy's Heating and Air. Back for the bottom of the third. And we will get things rolling with this. But very quickly, some of our gold sponsors are Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, the Blacksmith Restaurant, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Humboldt Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram, Elite Dental, Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air, and Deaton's Carpet One. Star on the mound, Aiden Star on the mound. And A.J. Hastings, who's our D.H. today, he will come up for the first batter. He shows bunt. Pitch goes high. And sometimes that can be disconcerting to a pitcher. Daniel Green, big first baseman on deck. Fouled off. Evens account at one and one. Green hustles over here, and that's what you do in high school baseball. Help the ump and the catcher out, especially if you're the hitting team. Like I said, star according to the roster I have, and we appreciate the coaches of both teams providing some information. Here's one fouled off down the right field line. They start to give chase, and it just keeps slicing. It looks like the last time I played golf, and it looked like the slice that made me throw my driver into the big pond at the golf course. And that was the last time I played golf. Great shots there. There's a, I love our center field camera. That one, a 59-and-a-half-foot pitch into the dirt. Star of the youngster has come on in relief of Smith. Throwing 16 pitches. The breaking ball is too high. Makes it three balls, two strikes. Leadoff man, A.J. Hastings, or at least leadoff in this inning. A.J., a junior, good hitter. Got under that one a little bit. I know he would love to have that one back. It went a long way, and to be honest with you, could have – not got out in front of it like that, it might have been a home run. It, it would have been deep. Here comes the pitch from Starr. Got under it a little more than he wanted to. It's driven towards center field, but comes down the shortstop, ranges out there and gets that one. And when there's one out in the inning. Daniel Green struck out his first time up. He, I know he wants to atone for that. Looking forward to seeing him play for the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Of course, we'll tell you a little more about it, but Carson Holt, who won't play today, got a little bit of an injury he's working on, but he has committed to a school, and we'll have there be a signing probably in a couple of weeks. There's a breaking ball that kind of gets away for a ball. Don't forget that this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2024. And you know what that means. We'll tell you about it. if you use it illegally, uh, Federal Communications Commission will get you. Driving towards the shortstop. Nice play by the shortstop. And then kind of lobs it over towards first. Gets away and Green is on with an error. But, again, Green, the team player he is, he won't object about that at all. 
The catcher, Eli Smith, the sophomore, wearing number 14. I told you, this young squad, as far as today's starting lineup, the only two people that won't be back are Carter Ellis and Daniel Green. They graduate. Here's Star's pitch. Number on the ground, and they call it a foul ball for strike one. you got to watch those numbers. you got to run those things out. And it depends on position of the ball, where it's fielded, and it's all kinds of good stuff that goes along with that. No ball, one strike count. Green at first. They go back to first, but tell you what, he's quick getting back anyway. But Daniel Green, uh, he's tall enough. All he got to do is almost fall over, and he can touch first base. And Green can steal a base, so don't think he can't run. Star comes to the plate. Good pickup. You saw the dust fly at home plate. And Carter Ellis, of course, the class of 24, the fine pitcher. Everett Scott, also a senior. Jack Collins, a senior on this team. Besides Daniel Green, and I seem like I'm leaving with Carson Holt as a senior. Here's one driven but slicing foul. And I tell you what, Eli Smith getting his cuts in. Aiden Starr on the mound. Peterson's at first. Burgess at second. Smith is now at short. Marshall at third. The outfield dome uh, having to give a lot of run in right field. Also, you got Hill in center and Markham in left for Jackson Northside. That looked like it was a breaking ball that went outside. Count even at two balls, two strikes, one out. Catcher appears in the dugout. Coaches call the pitches, and then they relay them, usually to the catcher. Got under it more than he wanted to. Let's see the positioning, and will it drop? Shortstop first started to call him off. They dropped it, and this is a – fair ball, but they get the force out at second because you don't know whether they're going to catch it or not. So it's a fielder's choice. Five to four for the second out. Very unusual play. And with two outs, top of the order up there, and this is Jones who is unofficially with no bats. He has walked twice, so he's 0 for 0. And the catcher with two outs, they'll send a courtesy runner out there, which is part of the way the National Federation and high school baseball has allowed things to speed up. And I want to say they have sent Cole Vargason, the fine point guard from the basketball team. He's a three-point gunner, but he's a pretty good baseball player too. And Cole can pitch, and he can also play the infield. And he's got a little speed Slightly open stance for Easton Jones. He would love to drive Coe in from first base. There are two outs in the inning. That one's going to get away, and Coe Vargason will go into second standing up. Runner in scoring position with two outs. He'll be off with the crack of the bat. And while I'm thinking about it, Cole Vargason makes me think of Great American Sports, one of our fine sponsors. Swinging, strike one. Rode up on our hitter Jones just a little bit and got it off of the smaller part of the bat. Jackson Christian Silver sponsors. Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Realty will tell you more about those after the 1-1 pitch with two outs. And it's fouled off again. One and two count with two outs. Great American Sports, Southern Capital Advisors, and David White Body Shop. Please support all of our sponsors, both the gold and the silver. One and two. Runner on second. Starr has checked him twice at second. Comes to the plate. Drilled on the ground. Third baseman tries to make a great play. 
came close, and Cole Vargason is going to score. Let's see if he gets in there, and Jones with that speed has a double, and it's an RBI double. And scoring from second would be Vargason running for Smith, and it is a 7-0 ball game. Now, they do have a 10 after 5 rule. There's a rule 20 after 3, but that's not going to happen. Although, you say, wait a minute, Coach. Could be a big rally. J.T. Mullins, left-handed up there. Slice is going to take it out of play. Boy, if that one is fair, though, they could organize a track meet, and he'd be running forever or maybe a marathon. J.T. comes up there, having scored a run. Grounded out four to three. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Bender, the breaking ball, however you want to designate it. Outside, one and one to count. Coleman looks like a very accomplished catcher, the young man behind the plate. Star for a freshman, a very good pitcher. Smith started it, had the great fastball, but had a little trouble finding the plate. He's going to have some more good outings, though, before the season's over for Northside. 2-1 the count. Star checks the runner, steps back. Proper way to do it. You can tell he's been well coached. Our runner, Easton Jones, he knew what to do with that, got back in plenty of time. JT Mullins ready for the 2-1 pitch. And that time the catcher kind of had to sit on it and reach down, but he knew where it was. JT with a good eye has run the count to 3-1. You can see that front foot even with the front of the plate, maybe slightly ahead of it. Stars pitch. Drilled. Will it get by? Yes, it does for a base hit. They're going to send the runner on. They're going to challenge the arm, the big throw, but they're go it's going to be offline. And we are going to call it a single, RBI single. Gets to second on the throw. But that is the eighth run. That's 35 pitches for Star. He's not thrown bad. It's just been some good hitting here by a couple of young men. And that brings up Zach Creasy, who had a big RBI double the last time up there. J.T. Mullins got the speed, so they'll want to keep him close. Star will check. Let's see if he has a tendency to check twice. Comes to the plate with it, swinging right through it. That one may have had a little bend to it. Outfield deep and straight away. Here's the pitch. Got under it more than he wanted to. Creasy, will it go foul? Is it going to get, yes, just over the fence foul? It'll be 0 and 2. And if that one had dropped, uh, JT Mullins could have chewed a pack of chewing gum, whistled. A song and still scored. Uh, it was it would have been tough placement, but it drifted over the fence for a foul. Probably worked out really well for Jackson Northside, who trails eight to nothing. Again, it's fouled off to the right, and looks like the young man that went out to get the baseballs and help out. He's going to get to get a second one. Umpire still got enough there in the little ball pouch, and when we get one of those shots of the umpire and stuff, here's that great center field shot again. Let's see how many times he checks. Only what once that time. Breaking ball is high. One and two. Still a good pitcher's count. Coaches for both teams call the pitches. They'll signal their catchers, and then they relay it to the pitcher. The pitch, and there's that. That one had a little stuff on it, and. Creasy strikes out. That ends the inning, but not before the Eagles have put two more runs on the board. And with the score 
eight to nothing at the end of three. Let's take a one minute timeout. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise, and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. And we are back. Eight runs, four hits, no errors for the Eagles. No runs, no hits, one error for Jackson Northside. And coming back to the plate, the original starting pitcher. Here in the top of the fourth, it will be Javante Smith. Smith, a very good athlete. That one missed. Looked like a little breaking ball. Breaking action and no ball, one strike count. Smith playing shortstop now as Star is in pitching. Base hit the first one, and uh, you can see Smith, nice fluid stride, gets the single. And a runner on first with no outs. Cross Burgess, the second baseman, who made a nice line drive catch a few minutes ago wearing number 18, comes to the plate here in the fourth. So it's now a one-hitter for Carter Ellis. Let's see if Smith's running. He's got the speed to just outside. Good shot of the umpire and the catcher. Now you get the center field shot. It's like a balanced stance. Up foot up in front of the plate just a little bit. And I don't blame Burgess. I would step out too. Checks his third base coach out. And we appreciate the coaches for both teams. Head coaches Rob Maxwell for Northside, Chase McLean. They gave us a lot of good information you don't always get. Very cooperative young men. Ellis has got his sign. It goes to first, though. Jackson Christian, I agree with him. I think something is coming up. Let's see if Smith gets a little bigger lead. He's quick enough to go from here, but uh, I'm sure his coaches would like him to have about another step towards the edge of the cutout down there at first. The one ball pitch on the way, just a little low, and it's two balls, no strikes. Ellis has not had to pitch much out of the stretch today. Don't see anybody warming up for either team. Here's the 2-0 pitch, and that one's got the corner. Two balls, one strike, no outs. We're in the top of the fourth. Jackson Christian leading Jackson Northside, 8 to nothing. Outfield straight away in a little more than, of course, this is a hitter that places the ball. Oh, that's one of those 57-foot pitches. And Eli Smith, the young catcher, did a very good job. Ellis has thrown 38 pitches. Burgess is 0 for 1 tonight. Javante Smith, the speedster over at first. And this one gets away. It was a walk anyway, so he would have advanced. And so after a couple of smooth innings, a little trouble for Ellis here in the top of the fourth. Two runners on, no outs, 
And that brings Coleman to the plate. Z. Coleman. I think his real name, but I think he uses Z here. Um, Zadarius, I want to say, and I apologize if that's not it. That one is a strike. There was no way to miss it, even with, with the new mechanics making it tough sometimes to pick up what it is. Ellis with 39 pitches unofficially. Here's the old one pitch, breaking ball. Ellis feels it. He wants to go to third to get one. They'll go back across the diamond. It's close, and they got him by a half step. Nice stretch by Green. Zach Creasy with the cannon. So you got a double play. Second out was the toss to first. First out was one to five, and then five to three. And Doan comes to the plate. Left-handed hitter kind of crowds it just a little bit there. He's right at where the chalk would have been. Two outs and just a runner at first now. And a swinging strike. Looks like J.T. Mullins is going to shade the right field line a little bit. Straight away in center. Little little slice action out of the left fielder. When I say slice action, he's playing it like there might be a slice. The biggest gap is probably in right center, though. No ball, one strike pitch by Ellis. Low, evens the count at one and one. Burgess, the runner at second. Of course, that was a nice double play that was turned. Second one of the game, Jackson Christian. Curveball broke out of the strike zone. It was headed towards being a strike, but it had enough breakage. It didn't get it. It was low and inside where it crossed. Two balls, one strike, one runner on. Everybody at normal depth. Inside, and the runner's going to try to advance. Strong toss, but it is thrown over the head, but the shortstop, Kelly, it's a good thing he backed it up or it would have been an 8-1 ball game. So now with a runner on third, that is Burgess. Three, one count to Andrew Doan wearing 22. It's high, and he walks, and so you've got a first and third situation. You're down 8 nothing. They probably won't run. You've got a pretty good hitter, and Peterson coming up there, even though he struck out his first time. So Doan is on first. Burgess on third. Peterson, a nice balanced stance, a little back. Front foot even with the plate. And like I told you, check those stances out when we give you those good shots. Ellis pitch just missing. Kind of held my breath on that one. So did some other people in the stands, including the north side people that's close to home plate. One ball, no strikes. Runners at first and third. Let's see if there's any running action. Probably not down eight to nothing, but... This one drilled on the ground, and it is a fair ball. One run will score. Got by in a good play to hold him up. But Peterson drives in the run, and now it's an 8-1 ball game. Let's give him credit for the RBI. Burgess scores. And Doan at second, along with Peterson. Who just got the single at first. And that brings up Markham, Michael Markham. Grounded into a double play, I believe, the first time up. Star should be on deck. Tom.
to a little trouble in the top of the fourth for Carter Ellis after smoothing pretty sail, uh, safely through three innings. And you can do that. Again, you probably can't hear it, but I could. Somebody uh, yeah, uh, inevitably says balk, and you don't, you don't have to throw down to second base. As long as you don't step forward when you do something like that. If you twirl and go backwards, you're fine. You don't even have to throw it. One ball pitch on the ground. It's going to get cut off by Creasy. He'll shoot it across the first. Green gets it and score that 5-3, to three, and that will end the inning. But one big run on two hits for the Indians. And it is an 8-1 ball game going into the bottom of the fourth. Let's take a minute timeout. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise, and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. We are back. Great shot of the warm-ups and the pitches. Todd Lumley will go across where it looks like Todd. He's got one of those big old heavy jackets on. I saw him getting it out because it is a little cool today. And Star still on the mound. It's an eight-one ball game. Eight runs, four hits, no errors for Jackson Christian. One run, two hits, one error for the Northside Indians. We'll check our temperature right now and see what what we've got. This says it's still 52. And that one popped up. Left fielder draws a bead, comes in, and makes the catch for the first out. And uh, so one out in the inning. And that was Austin Kelly popping up or flying out to left field for the first out. Eli Terry up there who is 0 for 1. He has a sacrifice fly. Stars thrown 41 pitches. And that one had some juice on it, and that's a strike. Nice pitch on the inside. Drilled to right field. Will it carry? No, it won't. It'll drop in for a base hit. And Eli Terry has his first hit, a single. Has struck out, sack fly, and now a single. Reed Cooper will be up there who has a single. He's one for two today. He's hit the ball on the nose, lined out his last trip up there. Reed Cooper. Terry can be a threat to run. Don't know that Eli's got the kind of lead. They show bunt. The throw is low and outside or the pitch to the plate. Third baseman Marshall wanted to introduce himself to the hitter. He was coming up that line hard. Now he's backed up. He's in the dirt now. One ball, no strike pitch. And this is a very capable young bunter. He gets under it, and I think it's going to get out of play. But last year, Reed changed a couple of ball games with some dandy sacrifice bunts. One ball, one strike, one out, one runner on. And here comes Stars pitch. In the dirt, gets away from the catcher, and Terry won't have to steal it. He will advance. And we're going to call that one a wild pitch. That one's hard to call, but he advances. 
So a runner in scoring position. One out in the inning. Wind blowing. Well, it changes direction mostly towards right field, though. The 2 1 pitch drilled over the second baseman's head. Will it get to the power alley? It is cut off by the right fielder, but a run streaking towards the plate. They hold the hitter to a single. He doesn't get to advance, but Terry scores on that one and makes it 9 1. Reed Cooper continues that good hitting, even the time he made the out. Gets another RBI, and unofficially, I have him with three RBIs. A.J. Hastings is up there. I have him unofficially as 0 for 1. He did walk back in that first inning. Now you make a toss to first to drive the speedy Reed Cooper back. And Hastings is officially 0 for 1. Star with 47 pitches now. We're in the bottom of the fourth, a 9-1 lead. And if you say if they score the 10th one, do they win? No, you got to have a 10-run lead, plus Jackson Northside has to bat in the fifth. So, actually, uh, the Eagles would have to have two runs. Stealing and uh, no contest. I'm going to give him the stolen base. It was in the dirt, but now you've got a runner in scoring position. Hastings at the plate with only one out in the inning. They play straight away. Second baseman's going to be the one to hold him on or play games. They don't really get there and stand like a first baseman would holding on, but they'll dart in behind you. They'll uh, fake you, and they'll pop the glove, and then they got to get back to position. Now, Hastings wanted that one, and he was going for the downs, but fouled it off. Daniel Green's so much taller than the umpire. And uh, they'll love him at UTC. I guarantee as a freshman, he's going to catch some passes and play some football for UTC. We've had some other signings here at the school. Uh, and we'll tell you as we go through the season, a nice pitch there. Broke that one off perfectly. It's a one ball, two strike count. Hastings has to guard the plate. Stars got the advantage right here. Good lead, but his weight's back towards second. Down at, this one's going to get through for a base hit. Let's see if they challenge. I think uh, the head coach is going to go up the line. And in, so you got to throw it low enough that you hit cutoff, man. That allowed the runner to advance to second. So Reed Cooper at third. Good piece of hitting. A single by A.J. Hastings. He advances to second when the cutoff men, they, they threw one of those lollipops to first or to home plate. And Coleman, the catcher, had no chance to do anything about it. Now, here's a guy that, if this was in the fifth, could end it with one swing. We saw him hit some shots last year. Unfortunately, he's 0 for 2 in this contest. Daniel Green. That one is, or they call it a strike. His knees are awful high. Most of them I totally agree with. That one, I'd love to have instant replay. 0-1 pitch. That one should be make it 1-1. One one. Well, as far as the count on the board, you got three ones out there. Two runners on. A single brings in two. The curve ball, and it was a dandy. Nice pitch by Starr. Daniel Green, the senior first baseman, behind in the count one and two. Two runners on. And Field playing for the out. He watches this. This one's going to get away. Will one run score? Yes, because it rolls down the third baseline. Coming in to score on the wild pitch is Reed Cooper. And I would have to look at it. If I was a scorer at a minor league game, you go back, watch it again, make sure it's a wild pitch and not a pass ball. And you always double-check your work. Now there is a runner at third, and that runner is all important. Now we'll play the top of the fifth no matter what happens. Light 
2-2. Swinging strike three. Daniel, I can guarantee you, knows what he did. Pulled his head a little bit, did not see the ball hit the bat. you got to see it all the way. Very important at bat for Eli Smith. He can put Jackson Christian, if they can hold serve in the top of the fifth, in a position to win on the 10-run rule. Right now, Jackson Christian only ahead by nine runs. First pitch, curveball hit. Will it get down? If it does, it's a fair ball. That run has scored. Smith's at first base, and they'll get a courtesy runner for him. He gets an all-important RBI single. Now, Jackson Northside does get their chance to bat and tie this up in the top of the fifth. And uh, I'm probably going to do something I shouldn't do. But if you've not eaten at the concession stand here at Jackson Christian, you need to. Uh, I'm going to probably see if my comrade in a minute, Paul Schultze, top of the order back up there, Easton Jones, who scored three runs and had a very productive day, also has a double. Here's the pitch. It gets away. Headed towards second is Cole Vargason. And we're, we're going to plead with Paul to either get one of those super tasty hamburgers or a hot dog if the concession stand has anything left. Just a hamburger. And that one, uh, swing a high pitch and it's tempting because when you see one there, you say, oh, man, I can drive it out of the ballpark. So 11-1, a 10-run lead. We will play the top of the fifth because it's 10 after five. There's a nice pitch, and it's a one-ball, two-strike pitch. I like this young freshman for Northside. I think Carter Ellis has had a, has done a good job and gone all the way for the Eagles. 59 pitches for Star. That one low, evens the count, two balls, two strikes. If we had a second runner on, we could again use that Favorite phrase I like to use, and if we had a little bell, we could ring that and say the deuces are wild, but we don't have two runners on. Two ball, two strike, two out count. Stars got his sign, comes to the plate, the curveball, and I think that time Easton got under it more than he wanted to. The left fielder draws a beat on it. He's got it. That will end the inning. That is the third out, but th the Eagles push this one out to 11 runs. They have a 10-run lead, and we'll take our last time out possibly, and uh, we'll come back for the top of the fifth. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. You trade in your car. You trade in your house. So why not get some equity back from your old HVAC system? McCoy's Heating and Air will now give you up to $2,000 trade-in for your old unit plus a free 10-year parts and labor warranty with the purchase of a qualifying York system. That's right. Trade in your old unit and get up to $2,000, plus a free 10-year parts and labor warranty. For a limited time, only from McCoy's Heating and Air. We are back to the top of the fifth. 11 runs, 8 hits, no errors for the Eagles. The Indians, 1 run, 2 hits, and 1 official error. I think their coaches may have scored a couple of them that way, but it looks like coming up there, I've got Garrett, and that is Garrett wearing number 7 back in there. You can do this on the reentry rule, and he can also hit for the pitcher, which Starr was entered in that slot. Garrett is 0 for 0 tonight. Left-handed hitter up towards the front of the box. Swinging strike two. Carter Ellis, I've got him with 50 pitches. I may be off one pitch unofficially. Sure would like to have that game changer. I'm going to get with Chase and get him to help me with the game changer. 
That one is outside. One ball, two strike count. Very important inning. Northside needs at least one run to keep this game from ending. And the curveball just missing. You can see the umpire looks like he's throwing something away. That evens the count at two and two. Of course, the whole time Carter has been at Jackson Christian, he's had an outstanding breaking ball. He got him on that one. And that one, you put it down as the backwards K for the first out because you took it instead of swinging at it. And that will bring up number 10, Joseph Marshall, fine third baseman who is 0 for 1 tonight. And Paul Schulze is a prince of a fellow. And like I said, if you come live, oh, swing strike, reach for that one. Good. He took a little off of it, he being Carter Ellis. Try the concession stand here. Bring your phone with you and watch this game on Jackson Christian's Facebook. It'll be archived on Worthy Road Studios' YouTube page. There's a number. It'll stay fair. Ellis slips. Can Green dig it out? They say he does. So one, two, three for the second out. And the last hope, Jalen Hill, comes up for the Indians. And like I said, we'll run a couple of commercials and probably have a very quick wrap-up tonight. This is number 25. It is Jalen Hill. I have him as 0 for 1 tonight. Outside. Even though it's an 11-1 game, the suspense builds. The question, can Northside produce that run that they need? Can the Eagles... Shut them down here. So it's a two-ball, no-strike count. The last thing that Carter Ellis wants to do is put a man on. They say that one was high. Interesting. No, it was a strike. I thought it was. Not a big fan of the new mechanics for signaling things. Swinging strike. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, no runners on. Infield a little deep. That one, it'll run it to 3-2. Playing this hitter to hit the ball to right field. Matter of fact, playing the line hard. The center fielder step or two over. Big gap in right center field. That one gets away. It bounces. And there is a runner at first. And remember, all that... Northside has to do to keep this game going is score one run. And Hill will be at first with the bases on balls. And that brings up Smith, the leadoff man, here in the top of the fifth. And he got a single his last time up. Ellis will pitch from the stretch. Boy, that one had a little juice, and they throw the number one down Main Street for strike one. Again, one of those great shots of the plate. Ellis has got his sign. He's coming home, and it's in the dirt. And I give Smith credit, the catcher. He's playing Indian rubber man and blocked that pitch. Great scoreboard shot and great one of Carter Ellis. And, folks, if you see our camera people, please thank them. Chris is our great director. One and one pitch on the way. And it's strike two. The suspense builds. It looks like Easton straight away. JT still shading a little bit in right field. One two pitch with a runner on first. Takes a little off of it, and he got him. The changeup for the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors, one left. The ball game officially over by the 10-run rule, 11-1. Jackson Christian wins and goes to 5-1 on the season. We're going to take a one-minute timeout. I'll see if I can total the stats up, and we're going to have a little bit of a quick wrap-up tonight. 
Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we are back, as you see, the Jackson Christian team. Northside will go down the right field line and talk. And the score, final score in five innings, 11-1 to Jackson Christian Eagles win. They had 11 runs, eight hits. Jackson Northside, one run, two hits, and two errors officially now. And um, some of the hitters with a hit, uh, Devontae Smith, the starting pitcher who takes the loss, was one for three. Peterson was one for one, and I'm double checking a, a few of the things here. Peterson was one for one, and that is the two hits. Peterson had an RBI, and those are the main. There was one stolen base by Burgess, and leave it to me to mess up my stats. And the losing pitcher was Smith. He went 1.1 innings, struck out three, but he gave up six runs. Starr went 2.2 innings, gave up six hits and five runs. Three of them earned one base on balls and two strikeouts. Let's get the winning Jackson Christian Eagles. Scoring three times tonight was Easton Jones, and he had one hit. J.T. Mullins was one for two with an RBI, and Easton had an RBI, too. want to give these young men credit. Zach Creasy, one for two, and an RBI. He also scored a couple of times. Austin Kelly, the shortstop, was 0 for one, but he did have an RBI and walked twice. And Eli Terry, one for two with an RBI tonight. He also scored. Reed Cooper, two for three. Could have easily been three for three, but a great play by the Jackson Northside uh, second baseman stopped that. But two hits, scored once, drove in three. Hastings drove in, I would call it the game-ending score, or the one that would lead to the game-ending with the 10-run rule. He was one for two. And uh, Daniel Green 0 for three tonight. And, of course, a great game caught by Eli Smith. And he had one hit also. The winning pitcher going five innings, giving up two hits, one run, one earned run, uh, four base on balls, and five strikeouts was Carter Ellis, the senior. Jackson Christian goes to five and one on the season. We'll be back next week with both baseball and softball action on Worthy Road Studios. Make sure you spread the word that we will be here quite frequently at the end of March and into April. All games are archived on Worthy Road Studios' YouTube page. Please support those great sponsors. And I guess we are close to time, unless my good associate to my right tells me there's anything else that we need to take care of. There is a couple of important things. First of all, this is a copyright broadcast. If you're taking clips and stuff like that, you are violating an old rule that I'm going to read to you that's been written. It's used in Major League Baseball. It's used in college baseball, basketball, football, ice hockey, and everything else. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or further use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studio is prohibited. And it is a copyright violation to copy even parts of it. Contact Paul Schultze if you need to. The executive producer was Paul Schultze. 
He also helped produce today. But I'm going to add something to Christopher's. He produced and directed and does a great job, and we're glad to have him here with us this year at Jackson Christian. Our main cameraman tonight was Andrew Burris, but you had, you know you did, had multiple cameras working. I want to thank both schools. Both schools, so cooperative. I want to thank uh, Rob Maxwell and Chase McLean for giving us all kinds of good things. We won't always have as much good information because some of the schools are a little stingy with their information. But uh, hats off to Jackson Northside. Hats off to Jackson Christian. And for the Jackson Christian folks, I wished I had a final in the girls' softball game, but the last score I had, it was tied. Bailey Robinson was pitching and did a good job. For the great crew that you just seen their names, it is time to say thanks for your time this time till next time. Good night, all. The award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Methyl, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.